In this video, I'm gonna show you a super powerful lighting feature. It takes seconds to set up, is extremely easy to use, and will change the way you approach lighting. So opening Blender, we have four default lights available to us. But what if I told you there was a hidden fifth light? This isn't hype, and this secret light was actually created by the IES, which stands for I enjoy Smith content. <laughs> no, it stands for the Illuminating Engineering Society. And these guys have made literally hundreds of thousands of free lights for you and me to abuse. So to set this up, first open Blender and make sure you're in the Cycles Render Engine. Now add in a point light and open up a shader tab. To implement this light, we need to check this Use Nodes checkbox. And the final step here is to add in a specific texture. So press Shift A, come through to Textures and select the IES texture. So now you're asking Smeef, where do I get these textures? There are literally thousands of these free to use and free to download online. And I've put a few of my favorites in the description below. So once you have your IES textures, change this node from internal to external and navigate to where you saved your files. You'll see here we have a preview PNG and the actual IES file. So make sure that you choose the IES file and pick one that you think looks interesting. Once done, you'll see straight away this amazing light in your scene. So now we have the light. And here are just a few quick tips that'll help you get the most out of it. Wow. The first thing you'll notice when putting this light in is that the point light is projecting straight down. Normally it would shoot light in a radial fashion, but now we have complete control over the rotation and the scale. So if you want to hone in the look of the IES, you can scale and rotate this on any axis to create some incredible results. Tip number two, light radius. This one will crunch the value of the light and give it a more sharper look, meaning that shadows casted from this light are gonna be basically a sunny day. So if you wanna hone in the look of this, you can come through to the radius of the light and change this until you find something you're happy with. So now that we know Blender's secret lighting feature, you'll definitely wanna check out this video here.